Hi guys, Max from the Halo Artist here, and today what we're going to be doing is lightening and darkening photos or pictures. And this basically merges photos together and makes them look neat. So um, copy and paste a couple of photos. I'm just going to import mine. So I've got my two here. Import that one. And uh, so yeah, get two photos because that's always good. But make sure they go on two different um, layers. So I've got my smash glass as well. Uh, and there we go. Okay. So I can delete the background. So you want them to be on two different layers, otherwise it just won't work. So say I wanted the. Whoa, what's this? Why have I got two of these? Let's undo that. <laughs> so go on your thing that you want on the top. Uh, so you've got your background behind, which is my uh, my grunge thing. So I've got my Smash Glass, and this is really easy. Just press F4, go on the mode, let's bring up layer properties, and go on light. And what this will do is blend it in with the uh, the background, and you can it has to be on top because if I put it behind, you can't see it. So it has to be on top. Uh, another effect you can do with it is um, you can actually darken. Now this is good because uh, my background is black. But you probably won't be able to see it very clearly. But if you look closely in the glass, there is actually an effect of the uh, the lines that you see. And um, you can do this as well with this one. So now let's go on the background thingy. Press F4, go on the mode, and you can lighten. Does about the same thing. And you can darken. And this is just simple. It's really simple. You just uh, play around with the light and the darken. And just remember to press F4 on the right uh, layers. So, uh, yeah, hope that was helpful. Uh, this was a tutorial by Max. And, yeah, bye. Be able to see. So now I've got everything ready, I want to make sure I'm on my new layer, and I want to go on line slash curve tool. Once you've done that, I normally set it to red, because it's really obvious, but uh, you can set it to any colour you want. And now what you want to do is literally draw...